Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 7, season 2, Draft Day Sports Pro Football 20 with the Dallas Cowboys. Alright, so last episode we were trying to meander our way through this initial free agent period. So last year, in season 1, we started basically at the beginning of preseason, where we had to you know go through preseason, make some roster adjustments, but now we're in true free agency where players have been released to the talent pool uh, we can sign players um, and move on so we were looking here and i think we're going to try to sign this uh, brent Selleck guy uh, from the university of cincinnati uh, played for the patriots for sure <coughs> a lot of retirements last year uh, brady and breeze are gone uh, we did put a couple of players up on the trade block last episode. So uh, if you didn't see that, go back and see who we uh, put up on the uh, tra old trade block. So looks like it says click the double arrow. So we're going to do that. That's going to put us into free agency. Um, all right. Open bidding. Clear. Tight end. All right, there's Selick. We're going to go here. Go to contract. He wants a five-year deal. Player wishes. It's not giving me anything there. All right, so, oh, here we go. Asking 600 to 900,000. Okay, so we, we, we click here. All right, so we've highlighted him here. Yes. Okay, there we go. Zach Miller's at, ooh, that's a lot. Yeah, we're going to offer this guy five to eight. All right, so we're going to make him a rotational tight end. Uh, five to eight, 700,000 is in there. Um, I'm only going to offer him a three-year deal, and yeah, see, I don't like those bonuses, and I really wish there was, was, uh, I really wish there was a breakdown Back light. Back heavy. I'm not seeing a difference there, fellas. Okay. I'm not seeing a difference in some of these, so I don't know what the hell they are. All right, but we're going to submit that. All right, uh, so that's our tight end offer. We've got about $11 million in cap room. Uh, we can check our position counts. So I think we're actually good. I don't think we need anybody else this year. So we're going to go ahead and close that. Um, we can view by team. No? All right. Um, so we're going to go ahead and advance. No transactions. All right. So view free agent report. Uh, Brent Selleck, no other bidders. All right. So we're going to go ahead and finish that day. Free agent report, no other bidders. No other bidders. Hello. Um, let's go. I just want to look at something. <clears throat> I want to look at something here. No, that's sign free agents. Right. Clear. Tight end. Six thirty four Garrett Graham. Uh, 
He's got really good hands. Let's make him an offer. Derek Graham. All right, problem is. Okay. Okay, there we go. All right, so. Oh, we haven't finished the current day. You do that from here. My bad. My bad. All right, so let's not. Let's finish the current day. All right, so Zach Miller signs. Matt Castle goes to the Texans. Darren Sproles to the Ravens. Free agent report. Antonio Gates, Dolphins, Selleck. All right, so his favorite offer is from us, but the Jaguars are looking at him too. So this is where you have to kind of decide, do I up my offer a little bit or do I trust that the Jaguars won't outbid me? Because they could. All right, so we're going to go there. Okay, so let's see. Daniel Thomas in round two. View free agent report. Oh, now the Jaguars have outbid us. All right, so that's, so I need to open bidding. I need to clear. I need to go to tight end. And this is the problem with uh, tight end, uh, with, with free agency, right? So we've got, so we'll go up to 840,000 and submit that offer. So that's about 140,000 uh, more per year that we were dealing with, right? So have we outbid them or not? It's hard to tell. I haven't gotten an email. I don't know if we get an email here or not. Uh, free agent report. Selleck. Uh, he favors our offer now. Look out. Uh, anybody else that we want to just take a flyer on? I don't think so. I don't think so. Just looking through here. Bushrod. Didn't he play for uh didn't he play for the Saints? Might have. I was like, whoa, is that Tony Casillas? He's gotta be old as hell. <laughs> Mike Nugent. Yeah, alright. So uh let's see. Let's close that. View the report. Oh, Selleck likes the Jags again. You know what? I am not going to sign him, and I'll go after a tight end in, in uh, the draft. That's what we'll do. So I'm going to run all days. Boom, I'm done. I'm done with free agency. I don't like free agency, so eh, you know. Five rounds, that's good. Looks like the Jags. Oh, Mark Sanchez to the Packers. Interesting. Brandon Marshall, the wide receiver. Uh, big fan of Brandon Marshall. He uh, he has uh, a mental a mental illness and uh, is not bashful about talking about it. And uh, my daughter has the same thing. So I I am very proud of him for standing up and uh, you know being aware of you know of mental illness. There is no way in hell. How old is that dude? He's made a comeback. Michael Vick has come out of retirement at the age of 40 and has signed a deal. Boy, he was fun to watch in college, was he not? Brandon LaFell, LSU wide receiver. 34 years old. Frank Gore. Yeah, Brent Selleck. Brent Selleck went to the Chiefs. Two years at $1.1 million. Wow. Wow, they came in and snaked us. <gasps> booby. They signed a booby. Nice. Sean Hill, he went to Tulane. No, he went to Maryland. Different Sean Hill. 
My bad. 40 years old. Jesus. Bruce Gradkowski. Josh McCown to the Saints for $4 million for the one year. Wow. Zach Miller got two years, two and a half million. Go to the Titans. Matt Castle went to the Texans. Jesus. All right, we're done with that. Emails. All right, so draft sleepers. All right, well, we'll keep that. And, yep, yeah, we'll delete that one. I'm going to keep those. I'm going to keep those so we can go look at them. And the scouting period. Make sure your team has their scouting information complete. Then double click the double arrows right here. So we need to come down to scout draft. Yeah. Right there. Okay. So let me come back up here first. And I guess I'll take a picture of this just to, all right, so I got those guys. So these are our three coaches that are giving me this information. I wish there was a way that from this screen that we could ask them to be scouted. That would be kind of handy, I think, right? Oh, boy. My wife's mad at one of my cats for picking on one of her cats. <laughs> All right, so scout the next draft. Okay, let me open this up. All right, so a punter, William Suarez. Um... So let's go here. We'll sort by name. All right, we'll scout him and we'll interview him. Okay, so you can see scouting took 19 points and interview takes five points and each one of these will open up something i'm not sure what and i should have read up on this but i didn't so screw it that's just kind of how i play we'll meander through <laughs> oh let's see the Moore and knox mock draft let's bounce down here do they have us can't no just the top 10 free agency wide receiver yeah nothing there for me all right so Basically, what this does is it opens up more information about the player in their scouting profile, right? So if we look at Suarez, we really don't have anything. We can't. We haven't scouted him yet. Uh, and then you get more information. But that's some nice coach grades, right? I mean, you know, he's a punter, right? You know, we won't draft this kid early. All right. But anyway, so we're going to scout him. Let me go back and see who else they wanted me to look at. All right, so next guy is going to be defensive end. Okay, I know what I'm going to do with that, I think. Um, and this is going to be Jason Engel. Well, let's sort them out by name, I suppose. Jason Engel, fourth to fifth round. So you got to remember, pretty much everybody knows who the first round guys are going to be. It's the second through the fifth round that you really make your, make your bones, the guys that are going to make or break your team. And then trying to find some late round, you know, that can contribute and then maybe, you know, a couple of undrafted guys. All right, the next guy, we want a running back in Joseph Nolan. 
right there. South Carolina, 5'10", 200 pounds. They're projecting him to be undrafted. So, you know, this is where, remember, now you don't really draft running backs in the first round. You draft them late. All right, so I'm going to delete that one. And then we're going to go defensive end, Ted Warden. Georgia Tech, another guy that's projected to go undrafted. All right, we'll delete that. And defensive tackle, James Pritchett. Tennessee Martin, the round three guy, good deal. And a tight end in James Hubbard. Utah State, 6'5", 239, potentially undrafted. All right, so this leaves us with 241 points. Now, you don't have to scout those guys, right? I just chose to. Um, so what I want to do is sort by projection. And I want to look at Terry Oliphant. And I think I'm only going to interview guys that I think I have a legitimate legitimate uh, chance of maybe getting. Now let's click on View Targets. Okay, so there's the guys that we're scouting. I like that. Why am I still there? Oh, View All. Okay, cool. All right, so, yep, that's what we're going to do there. Um Then I would want to possibly wow six nine two forty. He's six five, because I'm going to want to get a tight end that can play to replace Witten. So if I can't get him early, I want a couple of guys late. But then we can look at this guy. And God, can okay, here we go. Interview unlocks flags and penalties, right? So that's what the interviews do. Um, so you might want to interview your guys that you're thinking about early. And I think you get points back every week, if I remember correctly. I could be wrong, though. All right. So now I want all positions. So we're not even picking top 10. So is there somebody? I'm a firm believer you build from on from your line at from your the middle out quarterback line then your cornerbacks safeties linebackers running back receivers. I don't think you've got to have star receivers. It doesn't hurt, right? But you know, uh, that's just my feeling. So, uh, I'm not going to take a quarterback in the first round. I'm not high enough to get one, assuming the game mimics real life where they're going to go early. So, I'm going to spend a little more time I'm going to scout him. There's another tight end that could go in round two. Six one, six three, three twenty two. 
A linebacker out of Florida State won't hurt. See, I don't know if there's I don't know if there's a rhyme or reason to picking players except by position, right? You know, I mean, if I don't need a quarterback, don't waste your point scouting a quarterback, right? That that's my opinion. And we don't want to dump all of our stuff early. So round three, we're picking late. So we're going to get guys late round three, early round four. So I wouldn't mind a guard. There's a 6'2 receiver. And say a defensive tackle. And then uh, maybe a, we'll take a flyer on a running back and another secondary player. Oh, an LSU tackle. Can't go wrong there. And let's go ahead and interview him just because we can. That's five points. And we're out of points. Now, I think, and we'll find out in a second, I think though you get points returned to you weekly. So this is like, you know, one week at a time. So I think we'll find out. All right, so double-click scouting results. We've got zero points left, so yes, boom. Oh, no, nope, that was it. It was a one-time shot. I blew my load. We're finished. Ah, whew. Ready for a nap now. <laughs> Gross. All right, so these are the guys that we uh, got the emails from. All right, so click the double arrows to open the draft screen. Where are we at time-wise? Do we hold up on the draft? We're at 22 minutes. Yeah, fuck it. Let's go for it. All right. Advanced league. Draft. Okay. So we're going to pick until human. Sure. All right. Now, I would like to see the draft recap. They picked a linebacker number one. Hall, the quarterback, went number three. Hope went number five. Okay, so they did have a good early run on quarterbacks. And a late run. Okay, so where are we at? Okay, so I can go uh, War Room. Boom. All right. Um, view list. No. View players. Hello. Hello. Um, okay, this is not helping me any, any, this is not helping me at all. Uh, all right, clear, tight end. All right, Terry Oliphant, a leader, wide receiver like speed. B plus athleticism, A plus technique, B and IQ, B and intent, intangible, 6'5", 226. My coaches seem to like him. I don't know if this is out of like a 20. But we do need a tight end, yes? Now he's only 21, 6'5", and he's a round 1-2 guy. Um, let's click them all, though. And honestly... Oh wow, look at this. So there's actually a couple of guys that are still that were projected top 10. Wow. Yeah, okay, so they're well over 20. Got a quarterback out of decent intelligence. Yeah, I don't like his intangibles. Now, see, this is where I would have liked to have interviewed this guy, but, um, yeah, it's just, you know. So, some solid round one, guys. All right, so let's keep looking here. Brandon Hauser, Rasimo Webb. Thing is, I do need that tight end. Will he be there? I'm going to add him to my pool. And then that's, he's on my list. Okay, that's that's what I want. All right, so I guess I, I'm wondering if I could have done that from somewhere else. 
Um, pass rush. Shut down corner. He's tall. I like that. Speed, speed, speed. Physique, athleticism, football IQ, intangibles. Problem is, I haven't scouted any of these guys, which sucks. Defensive end, center. I don't want to draft a running back. I don't like that quarterback. I think I'm going to take him, man. I think we're going to draft him. Uh, Kevin Thompson. All right, so let's see. War Room. Uh, well, crap. Oh, here we go. Here we go. That's what I want. So where is he at? Kevin Thompson? Him? Oh, uh, the coach suggests Terry Oliphant. Actually, they're all suggesting Oliphant. I think Oliphant could be there in round two. He probably won't be, but you know what? Let's go ahead and take him. He's a round one, two player. We select Terry Oliphant. All right. So we're going to close this view here. Uh, we're going to pick until the human. All right. Let's go to the uh view room all right tony carmen or jason van hoos if we select that all right troy carmen there's jason van hoos a linebacker not elite speed is good enough to deliver pressure keep contain a c minus physique uh, Troy Carmen right here, Northwestern, C-minus physique, leadership, delivers consistently, comes off the line with power and leverage, reacts with good instincts, A-plus IQ, B-plus intangibles, technique, hopefully we could train him up if we went that route. Um, Mario Ellison. He's got an A, a C plus. It's his technique. So technique is his big downside. Uh, round two, round two. Uh, where is, let's go to the war room. Uh, view list. Okay, so my guys on the list are gone, right? All right. So we can close that view. We can view players. All right, go back up here. Rich Corley. Gravitate towards him. Follow his lead. Coaches love that if you ask about him, he's all about the team. A pretty good blocker. Refines his technique. Intangibles, IQ. Tell you what, I'm going to draft that kid. Rich Corley. Yes, I am. Boom. I overruled the coaches, man. Made my first GM decision. There you go. All right. Um, can we, at this point, uh, let's see. I want to look at draft recap. So if we trade, say, with the Bills or the Ravens, trade players. All right. Uh, let's go with Buffalo. If I trade our third-round pick, can I get two seconds and a sixth? If we take off the sixth. All right, so trades, I'm not sure how the hell those work. 
usually you would get a counter offer anything nothing i i don't know um all right so open the draft screen here all right back to view players thank you projection all right so we've got a guy that's round two and then a bunch of guys that are round two three uh defensive end joseph velasco technique is an a i like that a intangibles yeah nathaniel watkins nice skills contribute to the running game uh, Whitney Rosario. Ooh, hello. Continue. A very quick learner. I like that. I'm liking that. Whitney Rosario. Velasco Ship. Here's Randy Ship. 6-1. Good technique. Look at that. Um, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take my OC suggestion here, and I'm going to draft that kid. I like him. Round three, solid. Boom. Awesome. Randy Ship, welcome to the Cowboys. Uh, so we have to close this view. Pick until human again. Bam. All right. View players. All right. Guy Lumpkin, a running back. Jacob Turnbull. Is that that guy that was really high? Jacob Turnbull, where's he at? Jacob, where are you, Jacob? Uh, guy Lumpkin, a running back. There's Guy Lumpkin. Fast. Solid, like solid across the board here. I like that. 6'2", 243, so he's a bruiser. He's got speed, evidently. Although I didn't scout any of these guys, which kind of sucks. Uh, Jacob Turnbull. Higgins. There's Turnbull, defensive tackle out of Florida. Love of the sport, respect. And then Manuel Lujan right there. Tackles with good leverage. Let's scroll up here a little bit. So we got a lot of linemen. A lot of linemen. Looks like there has been a run. So do we need a running back? I don't know. What about Ernesto McCarter? Leadership consistently delivers a well-oiled machine. So he's got intangibles. I like him. C plus is at worst. I'm going to draft this kid, McCarter. I think it's a good idea to go, you know, maybe look at the positions that the coaches are telling me. Bam. All right. Uh, pick until human. I wish I could do this from the previous screen, but. All right. Uh, that guy is still available. Small college kid. Shepard. Defensive end. Boy, there's nothing wrong with him. I mean, physique, but, you know, he'll develop as a pro, hopefully. He was projected to go in the second or third round. He's in the fifth, so we're getting good value, right? Right? I'm going to draft him. Screw it. Bam. Defensive end. All right. Next pick. View the room. All right, Raymond Cook, David Carrico, Scott Driver. We got a guard, a free safety. All right, David Carrico's up near the top, so he would be value. Alan Stock, uh, no. Yeah, not not feeling that. David Carrico, ooh, A plus and B plus, does have a D in technique. He's smart, so he could probably learn, right? Possibly. 
Let's go ahead and draft him. We'll do that. Forget how many rounds we've got. Seven? Is this the last round? Uh, draft recap. Yep. Last round. All right. So, uh, view players. Projections. Jamie Wiley or Eddie Blaylock? Well, Eddie Blaylock's top of the board here. And I don't think he looks bad. Good-natured behavior. Some criticism for that. A lot of respect. Gets along with everyone. He went to Florida and he gets along with everyone? Uh, uh, let's see. Where's this guy, Jamie Wiley, running back? Well, I got a running back here, but let's look at let's look at what the coach is saying. Jamie Wiley. There he is, out of South Carolina. Puts in the work, breakaway speed. Sure. Tell you what, I'm gonna side with the coach here. Boom. There we go. Close the view. Uh, pick until human. That's the end of the draft. All right, so now we're into free agency, but I think it's a good spot to quit uh, this episode. So we've had the draft. Uh, let's go to, uh, let's just check our roster real quick. All right, so Jamie Wiley, he's got an OBR already, right? So he's already... When was he drafted? Seventh round pick, yeah? And he's already the second best running back on our team. And, and, he's only four points behind Ezekiel Elliott. I think I could trade Tony Pollard. And I can certainly trade Mike Weber, who I hate. Um, Mike Weber, let's trade him. I am gonna I'm not gonna trade Ezekiel. I'm gonna put Mike Weber. Um so we're gonna save that. I'm probably gonna who's the other guy? Didn't I put Tyron Smith, Lyle Collins? I put somebody on the trade block. Yeah, there oh Sean Lee. Uh yeah. I can I can put Sean Lee on there still. Boom, we're good. Um, roster, roster. It's hard to read shit that far away from my eyes. I uh, I am old, guys. Sorry. <laughs> All right, so Wiley's up there. That's cool. Uh, let's see. So Dak Prescott still a ninety three. Oh, that's what we can look at real quick. So we've had the draft. We've got all these players that have come into the league. I did take the picture, so we'll pull that up. All right, so if I sort by position, all right, 93, 73, 72, 89, Darius Jackson was an 80, Pollard, was an 80. Weber was a 79. All right, Wiley's new. Olazol was a 93. 70. Uh, Zach Martin was a 94. Xavier Suafilo was an 81. Cody Wickman was a 76. Connor Williams was a 72. So it doesn't look like these are changing yet. Now they might. They might. I was thinking maybe they would have already changed because of the players from the draft. But I don't know at what point this updates. Maybe it maybe it takes a little while longer. All right, guys. We'll hit the like button. Subscribe. No action in this one. But again, I think uh, at least for this year, we'll, we'll do, uh, you know, we're going to kind of walk through the entire off season just to see what it is. And then at least it gives you guys or future guys that watch these a reference point to go back to. Uh, I like the draft. We'll probably do the draft every year. 
I will need to read up on how to better scout it because I don't think any of the guys that I scouted or interviewed uh, were available when I uh, when I got when I was up to pick. So, yeah. Anyway, um, so we'll sign free agents. We've already done free agency, so I'll probably do this off camera, but. Going back to last episode, one of the questions asked was, can you carry a larger roster? Well, you can see my practice roster is now zero. Everybody's moved back to the active roster as long as they're under contract. And we have to get down to, what, 53? So I'm carrying 14 extra guys, my entire practice squad, plus seven new draft picks. So we are going to have to weed some players out this year. And that's going to repeat on a yearly basis. Now, I could even go in and sign free agents right now. And that's going to add to my active roster count. So I think that just confirms what we talked about last episode about roster size and having to make cuts. The answer there is yes and yes. Uh, so thanks for that question. I'm going to go ahead and do this free agency off camera just because we've already done the early free agency I don't know that I really need a lot of people, but I'll, I'll look around and see uh, what we've got. I may end up looking at some uh, contract offers because I do start to have holes developing here. So Lyle Collins is out, uh, Hearns is up, Tyron Smith. Didn't I offer one of these guys a deal? Um, where? It was him, was it not? Contract. Hello. Hello. Pretty sure I offered contract to him. I offered one to somebody. So I don't know what the hell happened there, but that's. We'll figure it out, I suppose. Uh, so we're at 91 million. We've got 8 million in cap room. Uh, one reason I don't like the pro games is I don't like dealing with the cap. <laughs> so uh, not my favorite thing in the world, uh, but we will figure it out. And uh, we'll go from there. Uh, David Carrico, is that the guy we just drafted? Uh, 2020, yeah, sixth round. Why is he only on a one-year deal? Uh, is that all he gets? Wow, cool, okay. So we'll see if he makes the team, I guess, before we offer him any money. But uh, anybody else up here? What, what kind of, uh, let's sort by age. Maybe we won't sort by age. <coughs> hmm. Prescott's got two years. Gallup. So they got automatic contracts. So let's, well, let me get out of here. Go back to roster. Uh, all players, rookies, rookies. There we go. And show by, well, that's. All right. So Jamie Wiley, seventh rounder. And he has a contract for one year, 300,000. Okay. David Carrico was a six-rounder. We just looked at him. Rich Corley, a second-rounder. Two years, 300000 All right. Terry Oliphant, our first. Oh, let's go look at that. Yeah. Let's go look at uh, all players by tight end. And Terry Oliphant looks to be our new starter, boys. 370000 signed a how many year deal? I don't know. <coughs> Five year deal. Cool. Cool. And then we had who else? Uh, let's see. All players, all positions uh, by rookies. All right. Randy Ship was a third rounder. So he's got a four-year deal. Roberto Brown, defensive end. One year. 
And Ernesto McCarter, fourth rounder. One year. Okay. So it looks like anything outside the third round is just a one-year contract, which is fine. Uh, but actually, salaries are not bad. Even even our top guy is only 370 that late in the draft, uh, 25th overall. Got a starter at a position we needed. Uh, it would be interesting. I tell you what, let's do a quick recap. I could do. I could go forever. Yeah, but all right. I want that just so I can see. All right. So we want all players. All right. So we're going to start off at running back. OVR. All right. So Jamie Wiley comes in as our number two back. That's good. I think he could challenge Ezekiel. All right. The next guy is a guard. If we do that by OVR, this was Carrico. So he's fourth, so he's already gotten ahead of Connor Williams on the depth chart. Uh, so he may be cut. That may be a guy that we cut and save 370, right? Uh, the next guy was a center. That's going to be Corley. Well, I was down 24% on my screen time. So Corley's number two already at center behind Frederick. Uh, McGovern, I could probably trade uh liqueur yeah he's got to be god damn he's got to be out of here um liqueur mcgovern and looney actually i don't want to trade them all but i think liqueur i need to get rid of so trade players lacador Where are you? Right there. Save. Okay. I wish there was a backspace to get back to the previous screen just that quick. All right. Who else was there? Uh, so center. The next guy was tight end. We've already looked at him. Randy Ship was a wide receiver. All right. Well, he slots in at number four. Five, Tavon Austin, Cedric Wilson, Noah Brown. Um, I think I'm going to try to trade Tavon Austin as well. That's going to be down into the tight ends. Wide receivers, Tavon Austin, save. Back to roster. <laughs> Back to... Defensive end, and we drafted Roberto Brown. So he slots in at number four, so that should make our team. And then we're going to have a lot of guys. I mean, I could I could free up, what, one and a half, almost $2 million down here with three guys. And then the last position was strong safety. And that's going to be Ernesto McCarter. And he slots in at number two. Donovan Wilson probably uh, is expendable here. So, yeah, these are the, your low-end guys. When they, you know, if they can come in and be better than other players, that's where you start saving money and we can start weeding out these guys now. The big thing is, do I do I want a third number three back up? that cost me 200,000 more, or do I keep the lesser guy and save more money? You know, uh, so that's the decisions that we have to make. Uh, Chad Malloy went number one to Buffalo, uh, six, one linebacker. Uh, they thought he was going to, they were going to take Travis hope or Joseph Neal. Interesting. Jason Hall, Christopher White, Edward White, Reese. I don't think we got any of the. I don't think we got any of the top ten prospects. They thought Malloy was going to go number eight to Minnesota. He went number one overall. Stanley Cross, Hines, Walter. Yeah. All right. Well, good deal. All right, guys. Well, I'm out of here. Uh, hit the like button, subscribe. Let me know what you think of our draft. Uh, and we will pick up here next episode. Have a good one. Bye.